welcome to another journey with my journals all right tonight i have a surprise for you um first i must say thank you to my amazing journeys you thank you for coming on the journey with me thank you for sharing in every little milestone of my life see we are family and I just want to share as much as I can with you so I just want to thank you for coming on the journey with me I mean you could be watching anything else and you took the time out to view my story my journey and I just want to let you know that I really appreciate you so thank you if you are just coming on the journey you need to subscribe all right subscribe like share no pressure no pressure view it is all about the messages it's all about the word that's the most important part of it my voice kind of sound away tonight because I was screaming in church on Sunday that's a different I need to give you some stories about that when I am in church on a Sunday and I'm not good guys and I'm not good I can't control myself but um, tell you about that uh, some other time um, and then today I was dusting and uh, sneezing and all of that and uh, it kind of makes the worsen more worser if there's such a word so just bear with me and also remember that I live close to the roadside if you hear noise in the background I live close to the roadside so I do apologize for the noise and all that so again we are getting close to one year in water in a month because it's early April that I started the journey and for those of you who just come in on the journey and don't even you don't have time to go watch them um, videos there from them long time there let me give you a little snaps and how it all started but first I must let you know that I was going through my journals today I'm always trying to start them it's so hard to start them because there is a lot of journals my daughter said to me today mommy when you pass on what are you going to do with these or what are we supposed to do with these I tell them that you know what you guys read them so you can know about me they said that um, we know about you I said no you don't know about me so these are and I also was telling her that these journals are like therapy for me they're therapy honestly if I feel bad if I am feeling away I just take up my pen and I just write because this is our right to God and honestly guys may not exaggerate if you guys want to try it try it any day you feel overwhelmed just take up a pen and a notebook and just start write write exactly how you're feeling you can say dear God because this is how I said hello father good morning father this is how I address him because I talk like I am talking to him I write like I am talking to him and I am talking to him this is how we talk and listen when I said this is how I talk you know it's not like I don't pray otherwise if I'm asked to pray at my church, I will pray. If I'm asked to pray in any other groups, I will pray. And at times, I will be in my house and me and him will chat and all of that. But my main, like things that I am not able to vent, otherwise, I vent it in this. Me and him, I will talk about it. And what I want to share this also with you. I realize that um, it's it's been a couple of years now oh my goodness I have so much I want to share with you it's been a couple of years probably about three or more years at 20 about from 2019 so about three years I notice I realize that he woke me up like early in the morning either two three or four o'clock and Honestly, guys, me think we talked about this in our previous videos. 
enough time, I'm going to drop asleep. But uh, a church sister of mine um, sent a book in a, one of the groups that I'm in and about the manifesting presence of God. And this gentleman, he talked about when the Lord woke him up to and all of that and he sat up and the Lord came and all of that and the thing is a lot of you that are on this journey with me I am not sure of your belief I am just telling you my experience remember I am sharing my journey with you some of you may have experienced God's presence some of you don't even know what I'm talking about but you I pray that one day you will get it. So, since I read that book, it makes me want to be more attentive on what God is doing or want to do with me. So, and as a Christian, this is a part of the journey. You understand? You don't want to be just a church goer. I don't want to be just a church goer. I want to be in that uh, space mindset of uh, so much that God has for his people so much that he wants to unravel to his people so starting to pay attention mm -hmm. for the since I read that book I used to be, I get up sometimes let me tell you something I get up over the years you now I'll get up at times I fall back asleep some mornings I'll get up and said yes Lord and then did and all of that and I realized I think it was since last year I said father do you want me to journal when I get up and uh, you know sometimes I journal but since I read that book I'm taking this more seriously I uh, and I think it's about uh, a month now since I got the book and I make sure that uh, when he wakes me up whatever time he wakes me up before that I think I said to him father I'm going to journal because if I don't journal if I don't get up and doing something then I am going to fall asleep and so I journal and when I journal I don't only talk about my personal life I use this opportunity to pray for my country to pray for my community to pray for my family you know to pray and I write it down. I write down all these things. And listen, how do I know it's the Lord with me? First of all, you don't have to be a Christian to know that the Lord will wake you up. It's not an alarm clock. So don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Mash up that alarm clock and see if you're not going to wake up. The Lord wakes you up. And I want you to pay attention to when He wakes you up. In the middle of the night, whatever method he uses, I'm um, at hello. May ever want pee? That's all I know. It is. I mean, me mean say it's like my blood are full. I mean, I figure it up, and I said, okay, Father, I get up and I go pee, and I get my pen, and I and I said, here I am, Father, and when I journal, and uh, say what I have to say, and talk to him. I am there, I went back to sleep, and I'm, I always get a dream, I'm always dreaming, so I write down my dreams and all of that, sometimes, well, hello, I went through my journals, and when I see some of these dreams, I don't even remember, but I try to look back and see, okay, did this play out, the manifestation of certain things and all of that, I know you may not understand if you're not a spiritual person, if you're not a Christian, there are certain things that you may not understand what I'm saying to you. But uh, how do I... You will understand. You will understand when you experience God. You will understand. And the thing is, you know, a lot of people going to church are not... They are experiencing God. If you really talk to people and hear some testimony of some people, it, it blows your mind. God 
shows up for people because God loves us. You understand? It's just that some of us we are disobedient, and I don't even want to get into the politics of um, Minafiga Church for serving and blah 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 and all of that. Right now, I am not going to get in that with nobody and uh, get into the meat of the matter. How did this journey started? For those of you who are just coming on, this journey started because in 2020, because I'm always journaling, I've been journaling since I gave my life to the Lord. And I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see. So I've laid out some of my journals. All right. I've laid out some of my journals so if you can see them so this one is from when if you are coming on this journey from when and you know when I do a video at my house there's a bike in it you just see the bike yes there's always a bike in my video. All right, so let's go back to the journals. All right, so this one, 2015, I only have one, 2015. And this is from 2016. These are 2016 journals, 2016 journals. And I have one, two, three, four, four like that. So when I just started on the journey, it's like I didn't have much to say, right? And then this one is 2017, 2017, so I put it there to mark. So these are 2017. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have five 2017. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. 5, 5, 2018. So I guess the excitement starts in 2019. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 journals in 2019. So I guess I have a lot to say in 2019. Alright, so 2019. And these are, I don't have anywhere to put them. This is 2020. And I have one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, 2020. So 2019, I guess I have more to say. All right, so 2020. So 20, this is 2021. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 in 2021. And this is present. This is present. Alright, so those are my journals. So this is where the journey started. I asked the Lord what I'm to do with them. And here I am. I, as I was starting them out as you can see trying to get them in a place um, this is probably temporary because I really want to put uh, all of them you know from beginning and on all that I those are just right there so all right so let's set back this properly all right so yeah My phone camera just looked like, you know, when TV broke down on yesterday, Friday, Friday, Monday, and all these things. Anyway, if you are one of those loyal journeyers, you know, say, from in the beginning, there's always an issue. But it's not stopping me from doing what God called me to be, to do, and yes, to be. I was looking through my journal. Today is February 16th. 2022 and uh, I think it was 2019 2020 
one of those dates same february if it's not 2020 it's 2019 that on this same day this morning the lord woke me up 6 41 and if it's not february 16 2020 it's february 16 2019 the lord woke me up 6 40 a.m i just wanted to share that i don't know what it is but i just wanted to share that so that's a history of my journal so for you those of you that are just coming on my journal and the journey these are my journals this is what this journey is about all right so tonight i want to share with you a scripture and it is from philippians and this scripture just done in my spirits because you know so many people are so anxious and i probably sit here and think i know it all and all of that you are probably sitting there see me sitting here and thinking that oh our life is together man and she have everything going on for her and all that listen to me mm -mm. no if you are following the journey you will know that there are so many things that come at me and guys there's a lot of things that i cannot see because of other people it may hurt other people feelings and all of that so i try to put things in uh let it stay in a little circle where it mostly you know focus on me there's people are out there and i don't want to you know hurt people or anything if you know I should say certain things so I just put the focus really on me there are certain things that I can talk about I can talk about my you know my struggles with sex and talk about my finances and all these things you know but it, it is not a, a better rose if, and, and the thing is guys a lot of people another thing a lot of people thinks that once they start going to church it is woo, hey, honey and milk and it's all good and all of that listen to me Jesus said take up your cross take up your crosses if you want to put it like that but he said take up your cross and follow me he said in this world you will have trouble which world this world that we live in but the good thing about being a christian is we do not rely on our own strength for anything but god and then guys the peace of god is real the peace of god and to get this peace of god you have to have a relationship with him to be able to like literally be in a storm and like okay woo, go storm go storm you have to have that peace within you and listen my last video before the dinner the one with content you have to learn and things have to come at you to get you into a, a situation where you have to learn to be at peace. He said in the scripture that his grace is sufficient for us. Whatever you are going through. And there is always a word. He said do not worry. He said why worry about tomorrow. When tomorrow have enough worries for itself. So why worry. And tonight I want to share Philippians 4. And I just want to read, you can read all of the chapter, all of Philippians 4, because it's an amazing chapter. But I want to read verse 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. Guys, and anxious, anxiety comes from anxious. And there's so much anxiety in people right now. People are even so angry. And sometimes you fight. What is it that you're angry about? Some petty things they are angry about. 
but in every situation every situation whatever it is he said pray and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and I look up petition and it's a request or an appeal to authority mighty God it is a request or an appeal whatever your situation is bring it to authority who is authority God I know some of you may be going through whatever situation right now you may have lost a loved one you may you're probably going through a divorce right now you're probably in an abusive relationship you're probably being molested maybe you're raped maybe you're saying that I don't even understand what it is that you're going through right now you probably want to take your life or maybe not you but you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody but at the end of the day it's not like my life is perfect it's not like I didn't go through stuff or still going through stuff God is processing me and being on this journey I know that he is processing me he is fixing stuff and only him alone can heal to you the listener probably that is not even enough for you maybe you have prayed to him and he's not answering you but the thing is guys his timing is not our timing and what I've learned on this journey for you to get to point B from point A, you have to go through a process. Sometimes from point A to point B, maybe like, voila. And even for some people, you see that happening. But every, everyone is different. What the eyes can do, the mouth cannot do it. So every part on the body, is for a purpose some parts act slower than some but every part is important and I just want you tonight whoever you are and you're listening and you're going through maybe you don't even know where your next meal is coming from I know that I know what that feels like and I have a job and sometimes I feel like I can't make ends meet I, uh, I don't have a house for myself I live, this is my childhood home, this is where I grew up. And sometimes I feel like, Father, what is it that I am going to leave for my children? Sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I feel like my life is stuck. I'm a lifeguard at this age, you know? But guys, I'm not even complaining. Sometimes, honestly, I don't get it. I don't get why I'm still at this place. But another time, he reminds me in his word that he alone knows the plans he has for me. And these plans are not to harm me. And the thing is, if I can be in a place with God and be content with whatever my situation is, it's not like I wouldn't want to have more but if at this place that I am contented and have such peace and I know he's taking me to deeper places and in a place with him a relationship with him where I can petition where I can bring my cases to him my nation, my community, my children. I will be content if it is that or having the house, the car, whatever it is and not be at peace or I am losing focus of my relationship with him and don't get me wrong, God have no problem with people having luck having not luck but having plenty he have no problem with it because remember everything is is 
and whatever he gives to you he gives you for you to use it for his purpose so tonight in the morning whatever whenever time you find this video however you're feeling are you feeling anxious are you feeling like uh, you know what enough is enough I can't take this anymore I just want to stop you and I just want you to reflect is it always been bad how did you get to this point haven't God done anything can you in the darkness can you find one light one good moment that you know deep down in your heart that God came through for you have you tried reaching out to God like reaching out to him not selfishly not ungratefully but like reaching out to him what are your motives when you pray because he said anything you pray for people leave off this concern in him you will receive it what are your motives when you pray so I just want to share the scripture with you I hope I didn't chat a lot you know sometimes I can't help myself when I'm talking to you guys so you met my journals share the scripture with you let me know your thoughts talk to me talk to me let me understand what it is that you go through and the thing is let me show you something guys if you have been on this journey with me for the past couple months I have issues with even this channel phone giving me problem and all of that it's just my phone that I use I don't use anything even the editing and all of that I'm a phone we use sometimes you tell me something I have no space and all these things and I have to delete stuff I just use my phone I don't even have a hype phone but like iPhone or Samsung or anything like that but God said what do you have in your hands and don't you think that one day the Lord is going to bless me because he if him put me here to do this and I am using what I have to do what he wants me to do what do you think is going to happen I'm being obedient and even if he never give me a laptop or a iPad phone or a tablet or whatever I am going to do what he wants me to do until he decides say, you know what Susan all right you can't do no I don't need you to do this anymore that is the that is where I am in my mind where God is concerned so guys listen I'm praying for you I declare the peace of God over you I declare that you be contented then always if you're from Jamaica then I was saying that um, some days peace and some days famine so some days it's gonna be good some days it's not going to be all that good but that's how it is be content be anxious for nothing you know and in everything give thanks give thanks guys I just want to thank you for coming on this journey with me be blessed guys I love you I love you I appreciate you share this video with somebody this is how the message can go out and guys listen to me some hey, hey listen one of me things say you know oh chop she she not sometimes it gets weary it, it this like it doesn't motivate sometimes i'm excited honestly and i like some love camera or anything but sometimes i feel excited to come and talk to you because it's like i know somebody is behind there and they're listening to me and they're watching me and all of that so if you realize how me talk me talk like say yes uno did it because uno did it so i love you i appreciate you and I will go on until God tells me, even though I have no only for subscriber and sometimes it doesn't encourage me like why me I do this and all of that. But you see, look at it guys. I cannot be anxious, I cannot get weary because I not get the amount of likes or I not get the amount of subscriber. It's not about me. 
it is about God it is about God so do not get weary in whatever you're doing be content guys be anxious for nothing give thanks for everything you wake up maybe you can just put on a cup of tea maybe you don't even know but I declare favor upon you in the name of Jesus give thanks in everything even when there is nothing give thanks thank you for coming on this journey with me have a blessed morning evening night whenever this video you find it thank you